what is up everybody easy easy street gaming newest video it's how to, it's a easiest guide on how to maximize your bonuses it's gonna be a really fast paced video I'm trying to cover a lot of different stuff there's about a million different bonuses you can get I'm gonna try to cover almost all of them kind of aim towards the people that have been playing either casual players or the everyday players that have been playing for probably under a year if you've been playing over a year you probably know more about this than I do all right first thing to remember Make changes to your runes and or your talent page before you attack anyone and before you start gathering anything. It makes a huge difference. Second thing to remember, your flaming. They give great bonuses to come into play during rallies. They also affect your enemy troops and give massive production bonuses. Third thing, remember your dragon cannon and your partners. They're vital parts of your attacks and they give you huge bonuses as well. So we'll start off with uh, farming, resource hunting, resource gathering. There's a lot a lot of people don't um, get their full bonuses on, on all this and there's a lot you can get that you're missing out on if you don't if you're not doing any of this stuff. So before you send out your troops to get resources on the map, change your runes to gathering. I use treasure box. That was kind of a really quick peek at it, so you didn't see too much of it, but you get a ton of, of bonuses if you use the right runes. We'll talk about that a little more in a minute. Check your flaming. Flaming are the little the saintess and all of her people we have the fourth level just came through uh, the, the flame and boosts are really incredible especially some of the resource uh, uh, boosts but what I would suggest is as you're getting them if you're new and you're just now getting them as you're getting them check them all out uh, we have the, uh, an update that just came through that gave us the fourth set of flame and the first set is blue and it's mostly a resource boost the second set is orange and it gets into the war boost third set is purple and it gets an even better war boost fourth set is gold and it gets I think war and resource and when you're gathering I would suggest gathering with t1 warrior it gives you a 13 load and there's t4 uh, shaman t4 beastmaster they they were under that they were 12. It takes T3s to get back up to above 12. So 12 load for T1. That That's just how fast they can gather resources and carry them back. And also, if you end up getting attacked with T1, uh, it doesn't hurt quite as much. They don't cost as much to, to heal. And also, if you're in a violent server, make sure you just farm on, on tile, on, on your color. If not, your troops die instead of go to the hospital. Uh, new, new, new players, I always suggest setting your talent tree. For about 20% combat and 80% growth. So when you get 10 talent points, put two on combat, eight on growth. You need the, the growth more than the combat. Now I, I keep three major uh, things in the in the, in the tree. Uh, one is I put almost everything on combat. You see, I have 203 on combat, 21 on growth. One I have almost all on growth, focusing on the upgrades. And the third one is my everyday one, which I think mine is like uh, 150 and 100. And and 100 it's kind of even but not really oh and never mind it's 25 percent combat 75 percent growth <laughs> the cost to swap out your talent page is about 200 gems and i know a lot of players that do that a lot um i i think that really you have to swap it out every time that you're going to go do a major upgrade or uh if you're going to attack someone and other than that i, I kind of just keep my my everyday one in there but the talent page is, is really important. Uh, another suggestion, I, I don't remember if I mentioned this uh, in type later on in the video. Just build one troop at first. Oh, here it is right here. See him? Can't remember from five minutes ago. <laughs> build one troop in the talent page and make sure that that's the troop that you're going to use for attacks. At least to start off with, I did Shaman because I had some good, good blue partners. Uh, you don't want to try to upgrade all of them because it takes a long time to get up your talent page up a long long time so uh just concentrate on one troop at a time so upgrades in the temple of wisdom the temple of wisdom might be the most important thing that you upgrade in 323 i just did an upgrade uh and maxed out i believe it was uh, troop defense or troop attack it's 105 days to complete it i switched all the talents uh i switched the talent page over and i switched uh to to find pottery and I cut it down to about 80 days oh I, I also asked for a, a title which they gave me a scholar which also gave me 10, 10 cut it down by 10% so 80 days is pretty rough but 105 is, is way worse now your, your dragon kin it also gives you bonuses you have to check each one out I don't know how many you have if you only have one uh, you can have right now I think we can have four 
and each one of them focus on different things i know that uh, uh the t-rex focuses on research i think that the uh, i forget what their names are they all they all focus on different things one one focus on building uh that this whelp i think the whelp does research it gives me 120 minutes free so a lot of people think that the dragon can are just for fighting and they're, they're really not there they do a lot of bonuses on the research and on other parts of your growth as well so final reminder upgrade the dragon can increase permanent bonuses in research with at least two of them that i know of so, get into that temple of wisdom temple of wisdom has all your huge upgrades in it here in this example i put fine pottery which is only level four and it dropped the, this one right here down from 41 days to 35, 36.5 days. 36, 36 and a half days from 41. So I cut five days off, something like that. So make sure you have your, your runes set, at least your runes set for upgrading in the temple. Uh, training troops. It happens so often that some players become discouraged when they have to change the runes before each build. But wait to see the difference in in having these troops uh with with the uh, runes on them or not that was my this is my attack heaven fallen is what i use when i'm attacking so we'll go and we'll use the the shaman training runes which i believe is called lightning glare or something like that yeah lightning glare now the time actually increases from four days to four days and 16 hours when i use the lightning glare but it also gives me about uh 16 or 1800 more troops something like that it goes from around 7,000 to around 9,000 troops and after getting the number two pencil out and doing a bunch of math <laughs> we I figured out that it basically gives you 500 troops per day for, for, for free so that's that's what that gives you as far as a, a little added bonus for using the runes just for using the runes I try to use runes oh something else you don't have to keep them on the entire time you don't you have to make sure you start an upgrade with the runes in place and you have to start farming or you have to get to the get to the resource with the runes in place you have to start everything with the runes in place but as soon as you start it and it's actually running you can take the runes off and switch to something else and it's going to keep the same bonuses for you check your items i think some items you have to have on before some you can add to after they're already engaged like the uh training uh items and, and some of the other items i think you can add, actually add them after you started all right we're going to get into attacking a little more than just the bonuses it's one of the most difficult tasks to accomplish in the game there are really tons and tons of factors to consider but we'll just create a simple situation and we'll kind of walk through it we've done videos on this in the past but this is kind of a little refresher if you if uh, if you're new pay attention here first in this example we'll just say that that you and the opponent has 30 million power so you both are on the same server you both know each other you have similar power so you so you know you'll have about the same amount of troops but maybe not he could have reinforcements at home depending on what his uh, reinforcements are at you could attack him with 160,000 troops and zero yourself in one attack so go find who you want to attack and save their location in your favorites you can save it under enemy save it under whatever this is the guy that I I've got something for him coming up. We're going to go set all of our bonus bonuses. Make sure they're all active. We're going to hide most of our troops. We're going to set what's called a fake rally. And I'll explain that in a second. Then we're going to teleport onto him. Scout and attack in one of two ways. You'll have 150,000 troop march. So reinforce your clan mates. Leaving 160,000 troops in your stronghold. We're, we're going to in addition to reinforcing our clan mates we're also going to set a rally the rally has to be exactly your attack army so even though i don't have the right troops right here you're going to set your partners the one the ones you want to attack with and you're going to set all the troops you want to attack with in a rally and you're going to send off the troops in the rally that's going to keep all of uh your, your base will be clear of of everything so like with me, I have a good blue team. So I so what I did is I upgraded all of my shaman first on my talent page. Um, I, I would also not use 150,000 of your best troops. I, I would use like 120 or 130,000. I have T4, so T4 shaman and 20,000 T1. You can use T1 shaman, but I, 
if you can't see what partners they're going to be fa facing, what partners you're going to be facing of theirs, I would use all uh, partners that give you bon bonuses on your troops because you know what kind of troops you're going to bring. Okay, so once you start the rally, you have you'll have ten thousand troops in your in your stronghold. This is a good thing, believe it or not. Uh, now go to your talent page and set your talents to an attack formation. My attack formation is Heaven Falling, for, for the, and that's for Shaman. Uh, five, click on the Dragon Dragonkin skills and click on whatever ones are useful for you. There's some that's going to heal your troops. There's some that's going to give you more. There's a bunch of different active skills, so check out the active skills before you do any kind of attack, and and click on whatever ones you can click on and actually get the bonus form. Remember to get into the habit of using the runes and changing them every day and using all the the, the talent tree and everything. Uh, here on the attack, we're going to go get one of those attack boosts. I have a ton of them. Uh, you probably do too. So use an attack boost every single time you attack. Uh, if you if you have a march capacity increase, you can use those, but just make sure you have the, the right amount of troops. I, I suggested uh, 150,000, and that's without any kind of boost like that. This game has all about preparation, planning, and patience until now. Now it's, now it's all about speed. You want to click on the enemy base, click scout. You're only one tile away, so it's going to be like an instant scout. If the player is online, now you have to be faster than him or her. After scouting, the report will announce itself. You have to click on the, the announcement before it goes away. Instantly process it. Then click on your rallied march on the top left of your screen. Then cancel the rally. Click back on the enemy base and click attack. But before you attack, there's actually a few scenarios that you have to process before you do. Scenario 1, he has 300,000 troops at home. When you attack, you'll lose all the T1 of your troops. Uh, half your T4 will go to the hospital. The, the report will probably say you've lost the attack, but it's okay. This is common. You'll heal all your troops. You'll attack two or three more times, and you'll probably zero them. What this means, scenario one means recall your rally and attack. So you can recall an attack if he only has the 300,000 that we thought was there in the first place. Scenario two is when you scout, he has anti-scout on, and you can't see anything. Do not recall the fake rally. Attack with the 10,000 troops that you have left in your outpost. Uh, if you kill just a few of his troops or a few of yours survive, you'll get an idea of what is left in his outpost. it will send a report back. Uh, if he has just the 300,000 troops, then you can recall the fake rally and attack. Heal and attack again and again and, and zero his base. If he's reinforced, teleport away. <laughs> Fast, because he, he might be home and he might try to attack you right back. Uh, if he's reinforced, you may want to get with your clan and rally attack him. There could be some big rewards for that. If you attack with the 10,000 troops and no one lives, that means you'll get no data from the from the attack and that you can just assume that he's got a whole bunch of troops there. Now I know there's a bunch of different ways that you can attack these outposts, but this is a it, this is a common and devastating way to get to get to your opponent. So to recap, how do we get great bonuses when farming, upgrading, building troops, doing research, and attacking other players? You swap your runes before any action. Use the correct talent pages. Upgrade your dragon cannon flaming. Uh, use items for your bag. Ask titles from the war chief. Get into good habits. Just a few things, no problem. So 14 minute video. If you're still watching, you're in the top one percent of of all YouTube. One of my favorite people too. So I appreciate everyone for watching. Subscribe to the channel, Easy Street Gaming. Until next time, it's been easy. Take care everybody.